this is gonna be a controversial take, but it really doesn't matter which AI you use at all. It really doesn't. Only the gurus are telling you, oh, you should use this one and this one and this one or this or that. You really don't need to. Coming from a software engineer, the majority of people, it does not matter on the day to day. It really doesn't. And I'm gonna explain why. So when you're looking at all of these different AIs, you know, Gemini, Grok, GPT, Claude, all of that, for the majority of people, either one's gonna give you the, the correct answer <clears throat> in, in some form or fashion, right? Some go more in depth, some go less in depth, some do all this roundabout stuff to get it to happen, but for day-to-day -day usage, day-to-day -day usage, it is not gonna matter. Now, for certain instances, you know, like coding, for instance, Claude is by far better than every single one out there, okay? GPT-5 comes in pretty decent. It's fast, but it doesn't have as in-depth analysis when it comes to coding as Claude does, right? You know, now Opus, Claude, you know, 4.5, uh, 4 we'll see, but hopefully that doesn't, you know, just congest up with to crazy token usage and all of that. Gemini is a great all-around performer. I use Gemini pretty much every single day, <clears throat> and it's great because it integrates deeply into Google services, which I use. And on top of that, Google's AI labs, if you go to that site, you can do all types of things. So I feel like Gemini is a little bit more powerful for the everyday user because there's so many things you can do from creating, you know, videos to getting, you know, um, like different ad structures like ad creatives with um, Pameli. Uh, you know, there's, you know, music that you can you can create AI music. There's all types of things. Right. So Gemini is good for that. And Grok is really good, obviously, for Twitter. Right. So if you're using uh, Twitter, you know, asking Grok all these different facts and all that is great. You know, same with, with Meta for, you know, like WhatsApp and Instagram and Facebook. It really just is going to depend on your particular use case. But for the most part, it's really not going to matter, guys.